who are with us in studio, Patty Kruger. Patty, good morning to you. Good morning. And Craig Schinnerer. That's right. Did I get that right? You got it right. Okay. Are you any relation to Mark down in Carlsbad? That's my father. Hey, all right. Well, I've, is he still singing and doing patriotic stuff and uh he does from time to time he's doing some uh speaking stuff in fact i shot a video for him a month ago and uh but he's still down there running the Cork inc okay well good well uh, he's a great guy and uh enjoyed talking to him from time to time over the years and yeah. i didn't know he had a son one and only. <laughs> well, great. Uh, well, Patty, Craig, you're with the Artesia Training Academy, which uh, I guess a lot of people call the truck driving school. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How long have you guys been uh, been involved with that? Um, I've been there two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And I've been there for just over a year now. I'm getting my microphones mixed up, so... <laughs> okay. Patty, you're on this one. Craig, you're on this one. So, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's backwards of how I had the other console wired up and so it, my brain is taking a little while to get <laughs> yep. to, to get adjusted okay so how long again have uh, i've been there about two and a half years okay is that what brought you to town or are you from here originally or no originally i'm from texas um we have some real good friends out here depp and christy crockett mm -hmm. and so they brought us out okay so. how, how, what part of texas um, just south of Fort Worth, Granbury, Glen Rose area. Okay. So this wasn't a complete culture shock when you moved out here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's it really is. We're used to trees and grass and things like that. Well, we have a few trees. A and few. <laughs> some grass, you know, especially if you water it and stuff yes, like that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, and, it, and that's what brought you to town was to, uh, to manage the academy? Um, Yes. Yes, Pretty much yes. so. Well, we'll talk about what services that you offer. What I'm assuming you teach people how to drive a truck or get certified to drive a truck. But why don't you talk a little bit about some of the different programs that you have available? So our school is a Class A CDL training school. Okay. Um, we bring you in with just a standard Class D license, and we get you your learner's permit and your medical card. And then we spend four weeks in the truck training them how to do properly pre-trip a truck, how to do all the backing skills, and how to properly and safely drive a truck on the road to prepare them for their exam. Okay. Are there some things that people think that they know how to do this <laughs> that the, immediately they learn and, oh, it doesn't work quite that way? So you, you get a lot of people like that. Um, the biggest thing is a lot of people come in, they might know how to drive a stick shift. Mm-hmm totally different in a truck so i tell them to forget everything they know about driving a stick shift okay so that's usually the biggest one they think they know how to drive and then they get inside the truck and most of them turn into 16 year old girls driving for the first time again <laughs> <laughs> so so the big rigs are still manual transmissions pretty much the ones we have are mm -hmm. yes um there are automatics out there if you do your exam and get your license in an automatic you're restricted and can't drive a manual so the best thing to do is come to our school and learn in a manual so you have no restrictions on you. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, CBs were big and everybody mm -hmm. had to have a CB handle. Is that still a big thing in, in trucking or is it pretty much mm -hmm. cell phones and stuff like that? It's not as prevalent as it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys are pushing to get CBs more back in trucks because you're able to better communicate that way with them. Yeah. yeah. The so, older drivers, yeah. they like the CB still. So. Sure. They they remember yeah. their handles from all yes. that. See, so. easier to give warnings about accidents and stuff like that on the road. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it is. And it's probably just for maintaining attention and what you're supposed mm -hmm. to be doing. That's probably a lot easier than trying to fiddle with uh, yeah. with with one of these things here. And, and uh, Oh, yeah. And there's no network you have to connect to. You're just you're transmitting and receiving the signals over the air. So. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a more direct communication. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's, so it's four weeks after you pass the, the classroom stuff. That's four yes. weeks of actual yes. Uh, yes. training. Yes. And uh, once that's done, then you get a class A if you, if you pass. Yeah, yes. they go on. We'll schedule them. There's a couple of the local colleges that we can go to to schedule them for an exam with a state certified examiner. Mm -hmm. And once they pass their exam, they can go down and get their class A CDL on their license and go drive. Yeah. Are there, I'm, I know this is a, rhetorical question or a silly question are there any <laughs> jobs out there for people with class a cdls everywhere yes <laughs> everywhere yes the demand so, is high yes everything that everybody has in their house got there because it came on the back of a truck mm -hmm. everything in the grocery store came on the back of a truck so 
there's big demand for it. In fact, you know, there's been numbers spit around. 80,000 truck drivers are needed right now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's big demand. There's a lot of jobs it's out there. It's kind of like there's a pilot shortage. There's a truck driver yes, shortage. Yes, definitely. And, yep. and everybody talks about the supply chain issues. And one component of that is having drivers to drive the trucks and uh, yes. uh, and, and do all that. Um for someone that passes, they get their CDL and they want to take one of these jobs, what kind of income can they expect in the being a truck driver with that uh, classification of license? A lot of them, you're seeing minimum pay nowadays is in the $50,000 range, and a lot of guys are making six figures now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes. so there's lots of opportunities and, yes. and uh, plenty of times to do that. They can go with a local company or they can go with one of the bigger carriers. Yeah. Uh, is, there a, is there an age requirement or a limitation or is there, is there a physical limitation or requirement to drive one of these trucks? So you do have to get a DOT physical done. Okay. Um, and there's different licenses. So there's interstate, which means you can travel across the country. There's intrastate, which means you have to stay within the state. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's exempt and non-exempt. So non-exempt is you have to have the medical card. And so for interstate, get a medical card. And at 21 years old, you can drive interstate anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. 18 years old, you can get an intrastate okay. and get your CDL and drive within your state lines until you turn 21. And then you can go interstate. Okay. And then on the... but. Does this, uh, uh, the physical certification, does that get renewed periodically? Every two, every two years. years. Every two years. So at some point in time, you may not pass that, at which point then you mm -hmm. can't. But that doesn't, yeah. that, that's not like at this age, you can't do this anymore. At this age, it's all based on passing this. Yes. As long as yes. you can pass a medical, you can drive a truck. Uh, we hear a lot about trucks going back and forth across, say, Mexico or to Canada, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> is that a whole nother level of certification or is it mostly, you know, do, do drivers tend have the opportunity to drive across uh, international boundaries? I've never crossed international lines. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of drivers I know, especially going up into Canada, mm -hmm. I hear it's easier going back and forth. Um, you know, they do recognize international licenses, but you don't see a lot of guys that drive out of America, way deep into Canada and back in. They're usually going across the country or across the border, mm -hmm. dropping a load there, switching something and coming back across. Yeah, okay. It's it's all an interesting uh, uh, deal. Are, are there other misconceptions that people have about driving uh, a big rig over the road truck that you get of, to you get to correct when they start taking the classes. A lot of them are are just scared of the size of the truck, especially the girls. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's actually easier to drive a big truck. It is to parallel park and and things like that. Well, I can't parallel easier. park now. How's it? <laughs> well, come on down next Saturday and we'll teach you how to parallel park. Well, that's yes. what um, and, and that's what. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So probably the biggest <clears throat> misconception is they say that truck drivers cannot see you when you're around them. There are blind spots we do have, um, the biggest one being directly behind us. But we actually have enough mirrors on the truck. We can see you just about anywhere beside us. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have the uh, camera systems like you see in RVs, have they started showing up on the, on the trucks now? Yes. Some of the newer trucks don't actually have mirrors on the outside anymore because they have cameras mounted. And there are screens where kind of on the A pillars where you would look for a mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I trust that. I don't know. I haven't gotten to try it yet. I so. mean, if it doesn't work or it quits working and there's some kind of a problem, yeah. a good old mirror <laughs> <That's> right. Right. <laughs> is all, you know, unless you have some kind of an accident, it's always going to be there yep. to help yes. you out with yep. all of that. So w as people go through the course, are there things that, that, that are that are more difficult for them to pick up? Is it is it backing up, parking, uh, making wide turns? Uh, what what seems making to be... Making the wide turn is a hard one for most people. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you're used to being in your car and just immediately turning. Well, we got to go out 20, 30 feet in an intersection sometimes before we can make a turn because mm -hmm. we've got a trailer 40 plus feet behind us that we have to make sure it clears everything. So yeah. yes. making the wide turns a big one. The other one is, you know, shifting. Shifting's a big one because there's a certain way they have to be taught how to shift. Right. So right. Those are probably the two biggest ones. Synchro mesh transmissions or no? So th <laughs> no, the only the only synchronizer in these trucks is the dummy in the driver's seat. <laughs> and I say that because in a, in a car, modern 
manual transmission, the, the, the synchro mesh thing. I, I don't yeah. know if it's still the term that they use, but that's what gets everything aligned so you can go from first to second to third without grinding the gears, if you will. But yeah, that's no, it's very easy to grind gears in a truck. You've actually got to learn to match engine RPM to what your wheel speed mm -hmm. is Yeah, and to get the gears to come together. So the good ones, is that all done by just sound, uh, just feel or? Yeah, so I mean, I generally teach oh, okay. kind of RPM ranges for gears and speeds for gears, but over time it just becomes just nature. You know, especially if you're driving the same truck over and over. Right. You start to know what that sounds like, where you need to get into what gear. Yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch is not good. No, no, no it's not. <laughs> no, that's not good. I don't care what your training is. You hear that. That's not a, that's, yeah. that's not a good thing. That'll get an instructor real mad at you. <laughs> well, let's talk about the, uh, the contest that you have, um, or not, not the contest, or the event that you have. This is yes. next Saturday as yes. a part of the 4th of July uh, Independence uh, Day celebrations in yes. Artesia. So you've got an opportunity if, if, you've never driven a truck or you've always wondered what a truck mm -hmm. or driving a truck mm -hmm. is like tell, tell us a little bit about the event that you've got planned it's from 12 to 5 next saturday um it's called a truck rodeo and all the instructors will be there and myself um and anyone over 18 can participate in the events just kind of see what the trucks look like you know how they feel we're going to do backing um contests uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, give you a chance marking. to come out and try the back of maneuvers. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have giveaways to have little contests, whoever can do it the best. Mm -hmm. um, so, you've then, got, so you've got a set of challenges then yes. for, for everybody to yeah. participate yes. in? Yeah. Okay. We'll have uh, at least two trucks there, mm -hmm. hopefully three. Um, and at the end of the day, we're going to do a drawing and whoever's ticket we draw will get a $4,500 scholarship to to go through the classes and get your class a cdl wow yeah and we're currently selling those raffle tickets so people can stop by the school at any time while okay we're open or the chamber or okay. stop by the radio station y'all have some yeah. tickets oh okay good i yeah. didn't know that but uh yeah. they're they're <laughs> 20 bucks me. <laughs> they're 20 bucks a piece so somebody has a chance to save themselves a lot of money yeah i bet if, tana has them so that would be if someone doesn't need a cdl or doesn't want a cdl um we just ask for the support for the school we're just trying mm -hmm. to get our name out there and get get things going um, yeah. they could still buy a ticket and we just won't put their ticket in the box if mm -hmm. they don't want to be drawn so yeah so on the the, the challenges that are going to take place next saturday <laughs> you mentioned backing up uh, so so straight backing it'll be just our backing maneuvers that we can do there in the yard so it'll be a hundred foot straight back which is what students <laughs> have to learn um so it's you know, really easy it's really really easy <laughs> i have a i have a 20 foot radio trail i have problems with that you know <laughs> those are the shorter trailers are harder to back well i noticed that because we have the 20 foot radio trailer and then i have a little uh dual axle uh little white a trailer and mm -hmm. that one i mean just a little bit of a crank mm -hmm. and it's boom, it's going over that yep. way so yep so but there will be a 100 foot straight back there can, be... can i look out the window this way or am i supposed to do it with the mirrors you're gonna have to do it with the mirrors oh. you, can't, you can look out the window but you're not gonna be able to see it <laughs> um so the 100 foot straight back there'll uh -huh. be an offset maneuver so you will pull forward in one lane and have to back into the lane next oh to you. no and you have 140 <laughs> feet to do that in okay and then the parallel maneuver. So you'll take a 70 foot truck and trailer and you will back it into an 85 foot box. And okay, and then I'm just also, doing the math in my head, that should fit then. Yes, right? it does. 15, 15 feet. <laughs> yeah, 15 feet to work with. Okay. And then the alley dock, which is a 90 degree back to the left okay. in, into a 40 foot box. Okay. Like mm -hmm. you would be delivering something at a, yes. at, at a box store or something exactly. like that. And then, all right, so are you. Is it pass fail or are you graded? So it's it's graded. So okay. when the students go do their exams, there's they have so many points to work with for their backing skills. Okay. And you know certain things they get a couple of free pull ups for each maneuver. They get some free get out and looks so they can get out and see where they're going. Um, can you like are they like mulligans? Can I buy some of those? You can't buy them. No. <laughs> Um, Go to my 10 lookups, you know. <laughs> and, and then, you know, after your free pull-ups, each pull-up costs a point. Gotcha. Um, if you hit a cone or a line, uh -oh. that costs you two points. That's a deduction, so yeah. eventually, if you run out of points, well, you fail. You're done. You're done. <laughs> That's great. And then uh, and then you'll have the drawing at the end of the day to, yes. For, yes. For, the, for the tuition. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun.
fun. Uh, do, so do folks, can they buy tickets or start signing up now? Or? Absolutely. Yes, please, okay. yes. And you've got plenty of room for people all that day to, yes. to, to, to yeah. do that. Uh, we're Just, also doing hamburgers and hot dogs. Okay. And soda, water. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's, it sounds exciting. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that everybody growing up, I think, you know, you see the trucks, you... And you think, man, that that'd be fun. That may be something mm-hmm. to do. And then everybody gets fun. busy doing other things, and they and they never get back to it. Um, is it anything like Smokey and the Bandit? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Are you old enough to it even remember be. that? Movie? I, I love that movie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you, sure ha- you have to have a basset be. hound named Fred, right? Right. right. <laughs> so that, you still see some of that out there, but not so much. There's a lot. Of, there's too much government regulation in it now. Yes. Well, th- th- there's an awful lot, and I'm assuming that's a part of the classes that. It, it, you learn what the regulations yes. are. Can you get re, you get recertified? I mean, can you take refresher? Like somebody's already certified, they've got their CDL, and they just want to have a refresher course to make sure they're up to date on all these regulations. Do you? Have- uh, you don't have to take a refresher course once you already have it. Mm-hmm. Um, most of it, a lot of drivers are going to be able to keep up on that information on their own. It's all published for the public. Good, yes. good. So it's easy to keep up on. Yeah. Well, it's it 